my dear students in this video we will understand how to reverse a given singly linked list let us discuss the logic for reversing a given singly linked list without creating any duplicates we are not creating any duplicate nodes three things are very important if you remember these three points understand the logic of reversing a given singly linked list becomes very easy the first one let us consider cur to contain the address of the latest node that is reversed so whatever node is reversed recently that node address will be there in cur number 1 number 2 let us consider start to contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now now whatever node we have to reverse that node address should be stored in start third one let us consider temp to contain the address of the node that has to be reversed next so whatever node we have to reverse next that node address will be stored in temp see if you understand these three the logic of reversing a single link list will become very easy so cur will contain the address of the node that is reversed recently start will contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now temp will contain the address of the node that has to be reversed next very important these three points initially no nodes are reversed and hence cur will contain null yes cur is equal to null because we have not reversed any nodes we should start reversing from the first node pointed by start yes this is our linked list yes five nodes are there 10 20 30 40 50 and start is containing the address of the first node 10 now no nodes are reversed therefore cur is equal to null the first node that we have to reverse is 10 therefore start is containing the address of the node 10 the node that has to be reversed now is 10 therefore start is containing the address of 10 what is the node that has to be reversed to next 20 therefore temp should contain the address of 20 yes temp should contain the address of 20 very good now let us reverse the node 10 because start is containing the address of the node that has to be reversed now yes 10 we have to reverse see 10 is the first node in this linked list when you reverse 10 will become the last node therefore what should happen to the address part of 10 address part of 10 will become equal to null that is start of next equal to null that is cur cur also equal to null therefore start of next equal to cur that is null yes 10 is reversed now what is the latest node that is reversed to 10 therefore cur will not contain null cur will contain the address of node 10 yes cur always will contain the address of the node that is re reversed recently okay which node we have to re reverse now 20 therefore start will contain the address of the node 20 very good which node has to be reversed next 30 therefore temp will contain the address of the node 30 yes temp will contain the address of the node 30 let us reverse 20 now carefully understand address part of 20 should contain the address of the node 10 that is start of next is equal to cur start of next is equal to cur yes yeah, start of next is equal to cur 20 is also reversed now what is the node that is reversed recently 20 therefore cur should contain the address of 20 that is cur is equal to start yes cur is equal to 20 next what is the node that we have to reverse next the, the, now what is the node that we have to reverse 30 therefore start should contain the address of 30 that is start is equal to temp yes now we have to reverse 30 what is the next node that we have to reverse 40 therefore temp should contain the address of 40 temp is equal to start of next yes temp is equal to 40 now let us reverse 30 address part of 30 should contain the address of the node 20 that is start of next is equal to cur yes yeah, start of next is equal to cur very good 30 is also reversed what is the node that is recently reversed 30 therefore cur should contain the address of 30 therefore cur is equal to start yes cur is equal to 30 now what is the node that we have to reverse now 40 therefore start should contain the address of 40 start is equal to temp yes what is the address of the node that we have to reverse next 50 yes temp is equal to 50 temp will contain the address of the node 50 now let us uh, reverse 40 address part of 40 should contain the address of the node 30 that is start of next is equal to car yes 40 is also reversed 
What is the node that is recently reversed? Node with 40, therefore, cur instead of containing 30, it should contain the address of 40. Cur is equal to start, yes, cur. Now, what is the node that we have to reverse now? 50, therefore, start should contain the address of the node 50. Yes. Temp should contain the address of the next node, but after 50, we don't have any other nodes. Therefore, temp will become equal to null. Okay, very good. Now, let us reverse 50. The address part of 50 should contain the address of the node 40. That is, start of next is equal to cur. Yes, start of next is equal to cur. What is the recent node that is reversed? 50. Therefore, cur should contain the address of 50. Cur is equal to start. Cur is equal to 50. Very good. Now, what is the node we have to reverse? There are no node to be, nodes to be reversed. Therefore, start also will become equal to null. Now, carefully understand when start becomes equal to null, the linked list is reversed and cur is containing the address of the linked list. You can just observe cur is containing the address of the node 50, 50 is containing the address of the node 40, 40, the address part of 40 is containing the address of the node 30, address part of 30 is containing the address of the node 20, address part of the node 20 is containing the address of the node 10 and address part of node 10 is null. Therefore, the linked list is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Initially, initially the linked list was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, we have reversed. Curry is containing the address of the linked list. It is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. If you remember 3, there is cur, start and temp. Understanding the logic of reversing a single linked list is quite simple. Now, we should discuss the function for reversing a single linked list. As I told, three points are very important. Curve will contain the address of the latest node that is reversed, that is already reversed. Start will contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now. Temp will contain the address of the node that has to be reversed next. Very important, the three points. Initially, no nodes are reversed and hence curve will contain null. Yes, curve is equal to null, curve is equal to null. We should start reversing from the first node pointed by start. Yes, this is our linked list. Start will contain the address of the linked list. Five nodes are there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We should continue reversing till start becomes equal to null. When start is equal to null, we should stop. That is while loop is while start not equal to null. Yes, while start not equal to null. See. No nodes are reversed, therefore curve is equal to null. The first node that has to be reversed now is 10, therefore start is containing the address of the node 10. What is the next node that has to be reversed? That is 20, therefore temp should contain the address of the node 20. That is temp is equal to start off next. Yes, temp is equal to start off next. Very good. Now let us reverse the node 10. How to reverse 10? 10 is the first node in this linked list. In the reverse linked list, 10 will be the last node. Therefore, the address part of 10 should be equal to null. Therefore, start of next is equal to null or start of next is equal to cur because cur is null. Therefore, start of next is equal to cur. Yes. Now, we have reversed 10. What is the latest node that is reversed? 10. Therefore, cur should contain the address of the node 10. Therefore, cur is equal to start. Yes, cur is equal to start. Very good. See, start was containing 10, 10 is reversed. So, start should contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now. Now, we have to reverse 20. Therefore, start should contain the address of the node 20. Yes. Start is equal to 10. Very good. Again, go back. Start not equal to 0. Yes, start is not equal to 0. It is containing the address of the node 20. Now, temp should contain the address of the node 30. Therefore, temp is equal to start of next. Yes. Temp goes to 30. Now we will reverse 20. How to reverse 20? Node 20. Address part of node 20 should contain the address of the node 10. That is temp of next is equal to cur. Yes, temp of next is equal to cur. So 20 is also reversed. Now, what is the latest node that is reversed? The node 20. Therefore, cur should contain the address of the node 20. Because it will contain the address of the latest node that is reversed. Therefore, curve is equal to start. Yes. Now, 20 is also reversed. Therefore, start should contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now. That is the address of the node 30. Therefore, start is equal to temp. Yes. Start will come here. 
Now again go back, start not equal to null. No, start is not equal to null. Therefore, temp should contain the address of the next node that has to be reversed. That is 40. Therefore, temp is equal to start of next. Yes. Let us reverse 30. Address part of 30 should contain the address of the node 20. That is start of next is equal to cur. Yes, start of next is equal to cur. What is the latest node that is reversed? Node 30. Therefore, cur should contain the address of the node 30. Therefore, cur is equal to start. Yes, cur will contain here. Now, 30 is also reversed. Start should contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now. Now, we have to reverse 40. Therefore, start should contain the address of the node 40. Start is equal to temp. Yes, very good. Again, go back to the while loop. Start not equal to null. Yes, start is not equal to null. Therefore, temp should contain the address of the next node that has to be reversed. The next node that has to be reversed is 50. Therefore, temp is equal to start of next. Temp is equal to 50. Very good. Now, let us reverse the node 40. Address part of 40 should contain the address of the node 30. That is, start of next is equal to cur. Yes, start of next is equal to cur. What is the latest node that is reversed? 40. Therefore, cur should contain the address of 40. That is, cur is equal to start. Yes, cur is equal to star. That is, cur will contain the address of the node 40. Now, 40 is also reversed. Therefore, star should contain the address of the node that has to be reversed now. Now, we have to reverse 50. Therefore, star is equal to temp. That is, star will contain the address of the node 50. Very good. Again, go back to the while loop. Star not equal to null. Yes, star is not equal to null. Therefore, temp should contain the address of the next node. But after 50, we don't have any other nodes. Therefore, temp will become null. Yes, temp becomes null. Now, we will reverse the node 50. Address part of 50 should contain the address of the node 40. That is, start of next is equal to cur. Yes, start of next is equal to cur. Very good. What is the latest node that is reversed? 50. Therefore, cur should contain the address of the node. 50. Cur is equal to start. Yes, node 50. Very good. Start is equal to temp. But temp is equal to null. Therefore, start also will become equal to null. Go back to the while loop. Start not equal to null? No, start is equal to null. Therefore, come out of the while loop. When you come out of the while loop, you can just see the node is, the linked list is reversed. Curry is containing the address of the linked list. Curry is containing the address of the node 50. 50 is containing the address of the node 40. 40 is containing the address of the node 30. Like that, the linked list is reversed. So, curry is containing the address of the linked list. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Yes, the linked list is reversed. I think the logic is quite simple, quite straightforward. And we have to return curve because who is containing the address of the linked list? Curry is containing the address of the linked list. Therefore, we have to return the starting address of the linked list, which is stored in cur. Therefore, return cur. Now, last the function. Very good. Reverse SLL, reverse single linked list. And starting address of the linked list is a parameter. Two pointers, cur and temp. Yes, cur is equal to null initially. While start is not equal to null, temp is equal to start of next. Start of next is equal to cur. Cur is equal to start. Start is equal to temp. Yes, return curve. That's all the function. I think uh, all these logic we have discussed. I think uh, reversing a single linked list is quite simple. If you remember uh, how actually curve operates, start operates, temp operates, I think the logic for reversing a given single linked list is quite simple, quite straightforward.